I guess it wouldn't be a new year without Conor McGregor announcing that he is retired for the third time now. Is it I the guess third? I think it's the third time that he's announced he, he said, uh, so long and thanks for the cheese. And then he had the one where he was, uh, it was a longer thing about how he was retiring. And this one, he's going to buy his mother a house and he's retiring. I, I think that he may have retired more than that. But, but um, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I, it's, uh, I don't know that anyone's taking it seriously. But, yeah, he did. I mean, Connor's so full of shit that it's like, what, what are you going to do? Um, he's just looking for attention. I guess he hasn't gotten any in a couple of days. So, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we got a whole bunch of retirements, right? We got, uh, well, no, not retirements. John Jones says he's given up the title. Um, and Masvidal, Jorge Masvidal, what's he saying? He's like, he just wants more money, which, you know, I can, I can kind of get. He, his, his claim is, is that they offered him for a title fight with Kamaru Usman, half of what he made for the Diaz fight. And from a UFC standpoint, you could go with the thing. When, when the, the Diaz fight came, if you remember, they needed a main event real bad at Madison Square Garden. So, And now, you know, there's no live gates. So there's that difference. But you can't, you know, you can't expect to pay somebody a certain amount for a fight you know, even if it's well above their contract, and then offer him a title match against a much tougher opponent and then ask him to take half as much money, which is what he claims. Now, of course, UFC is claiming that, uh, you know, he signed a contract, and I'm sure the Diaz fight was for way over his contract, but he's going to look at it in a different way, and there are no live gates. Um, but if the whole deal with, with Jones... And these other, you know, Jones and McGregor is that, like, they're not as valuable because of, uh, you know, the the pay-per-view is, the pay-per-view risk is from ESPN, and they're making the same every pay-per-view, then it's kind of hard in that same breath to say, well, you know, you know, you could say, like, well, you he and Diaz is a bigger drawing fight than he and Usman, which it was, but that shouldn't matter because they're getting paid the same amount for the pay-per-view either way, so he should get paid the same. You know, maybe a little less because of the live gate. I mean, I can sort of see from a UFC standpoint, you're not getting the, the, the Garden live gate was, I forgot what it was. I think it's like $6 million. So that, that there is a difference there. But, yeah, um, it's, you know, a lot of a lot of interesting stuff. I mean, um, there was, there was I, I have not seen the entire press conference from tonight, but I did see an interchange with Kevin Ioli and Dana. Where Dana it was, I don't know if you heard this. Did you hear about what that what Dana said? No. Everyone in the media is going to get fired, and he's the last person. What? Yes, all we're all getting fired. Everyone. I'm getting fired. Dana said that. I don't. Wow. I, you should have. You should have listened. He gave you your notice just like a few Man, hours ago. Man, I, I was maybe, unaware of that. Maybe an hour ago. That's disappointing. I know it is, and. Um, but you know there were you know let's face it there there were you know the athletic just cut um, what was it forty six people forty eight people a lot of people um, including uh, several MMA writers I mean good you know Josh Gross is good and um, um, what was it uh, Dan Stupp and um, uh, who else um, Min Chuck Mindenhall um, who's a really good writer and. Um, Chad Dundas, who's, you know, so, I mean, they, they cut real, you know, high-level guys. There's there's a lot of cutting going on, I mean, without a doubt. Um, it's just the nature of the, you know, the beast. That, that is the nature of the way that things are going right now, but I'm, I'm pretty skeptical that every single person that covers any sort of mixed martial arts is going to end up getting fired. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. Not everyone is going to get fired. Um, and he was just basically... But he did say like that there's times now where he's just so sick of it that there's... You know, he, he has those moments where he just wants to quit. So you can see it's getting to him. And, and I can see why. I mean, at the same time, you know, he's been kind of crazy. And he, well, you can tell by his behavior, he's been kind of crazy in a, lot of, in a lot of times, too. But, you know, just trying to... Um, you know, he thinks he, he thinks that he's got all these people who are out to get him, um, 
and you know he's the only guy running sports which which for the most part i mean there are some other things running but there aren't a lot um he's probably under more of a microscope than most and he's probably for all of his stuff he said that's been kind of kind of stupid at times um you know and, and some of it some of it is especially running in nevada that that you know he's under orders essentially to um you know to take precautions but they are you know obviously when it comes to the level of precautions they are far 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 ahead of the professional wrestling groups all of them you know the one well all the ones that are running the ones who aren't running are probably a little bit ahead of dana now that i think about it um which is actually most of them so i should have should not have phrased it that way but um you know i mean they have done you know they have done a lot i mean they um so you know they ran they ran tonight um but yeah he was just uh he mentioned that and um just like if guys don't want to fight they don't have to fight we're in a pandemic and he it was interesting because you know they were going they were, they were asking him questions about the future and he was just like i don't know what's going on a month from now nor does anybody else you know i'm just trying to run shows you know if we've got five shows in you know so there you go and they got another one scheduled for next saturday and yeah 